Hi, it's Anita from Daydreams of Quilts. I'm down in my basement lair or studio as I like to call it uh, to talk to you today about the foundation paper piecing for the uh, Union Jack or the national flag of the United Kingdom for the Union Jack in a pixel heart quilt pattern which I'll have in the link below. Um, this pattern is going to be available in my Etsy shop so uh, the little it's a pretty easy pattern except for the uh, the one tricky bit of foundation paper piecing the the flag in the middle of the heart so um, what you want to do is you want to print out your pattern pieces at a hundred percent no scaling and then you need to tape them together this makes a fairly large flag It's 12 by 24 inches um, so when you print out, there's going to be little dashed lines here in the margin. So you need to trim those off with your scissors, paper scissors. Um, just trim one sheet, like I'm going to be taping this to this sheet here. So I'm not going to trim the margin off over here. I'm just going to trim the one that I'm taping down and leave the one that I'm taping to to have its margin still so that I have something to tape to. So I've just trimmed these two sides. I'm going to tape it down over here and complete the flag. And then there are more dashed lines around each piece. So you'll need to trim out around those dashed lines and um, then you'll be ready to start paper piecing because you don't want to leave this whole big banner of paper together to try to put through your sewing machine. So you're going to need to trim or cut out your individual pieces. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this has all letter A's and then there's a dashed line around it um, over here. So you want to cut out around the whole A section. And then there's a C section here. You want to cut the dashed line that goes around the whole C section and so on. And then that's going to make um, your individual sections for your flag that you're going to put together. Now, the next thing I do to keep things straight in my head is I have a, a red and a blue pencil crayon here. And I'm going to just scribble just a little bit of color um, onto the sections of the flag that would be red or that would be blue so that um, when I'm doing this I'm avoiding the confusion of where do the colors go um, I do this with any foundation paper piecing that I'm doing so here I've just put some blue just a little little scribble of color so I know where I'm putting the blue fabric and where I'm putting the red fabric so uh, Hopefully that helps and I will see you in a moment at the sewing machine. Okay. Hi. Okay. So here I am at the sewing machine and this is everything that I use for this portion of the foundation paper piecing. I have a little washable glue stick pen. I have an add a quarter ruler. I have my Ulfa rotary cutter. I have my little mini mat, cutting mat, and then I have a little postcard. Um, or you can use heavy piece of cardstock um, so that I can fold my my paper back over that when I'm ready to trim my seams. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm here with section A, and on the on this section A it says A1 down here on this triangle here. So I'm going to put some a little bit of this washable glue on the back, and I'm going to stick my blue fabric right over the glue and that's going to become this blue corner down here. So the next piece is A2 and it's white. So I have a scrap strip of white here and I'm going to just hold this up to the light to make sure that I can see through the fabric and get that laid down on the 
over the blue. It's going to be right sides together to the blue, although this is white so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to stitch along the line between A1 and A2. So I set my sewing machine to 1 or 1 1.5. I like 1 1.5. And stitch along that one line. And just back stitch a little bit at the beginning. And go right into the seam allowance and right up to that little dashed line around the outside of that section. And then I take my postcard, fold my paper over so that I can trim off this excess fabric with a quarter inch seam which is where the add a quarter ruler comes in because I'm going to put the edge of the add a quarter ruler so that it's resting up against the fold in the paper that's that's right where that cardstock is. I'm going to nest it up against there snugly and trim off the quarter of an inch. Okay. Oh, I got a little bit of extra here. Okay, then I'm going to take this to my little handy mini iron that's over here on the other side of my um, sewing machine, and I'm going to just flip that, flip this white piece up, and iron the seam. Okay, so I've got that done and now I am ready to go on to the next piece which is going to be A3 which is the red fabric. So you just keep going that way until you get your whole section finished and covered in fabric. Okay, if you like this video please go ahead and tap the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. Okay, thank you.